the Daily Visual Bible. I'm the Avatar version of Robbie Yates, and I would like to welcome you to my home in Second Life. Let me show you around. This area was designed to be a place for people to come and reflect on the Word of God. This is the building in which we keep the television that broadcasts a show that you may be familiar with. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Daily Visual Bible Land here in Second Life. Please feel free to come and visit us on the 31st of August as we host our first discussion on the book of Genesis. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 43 The famine was severe in the land. When they had eaten up the grain which they brought out of Egypt, the father said to them, Go again, and buy us a little more food. Judah spoke to him, saying, The man suddenly warned us, saying, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you'll send our brother with us, we'll go down and buy you food. If you will not send them, we will not go down. But the man said to us, You shall not see my face, unless your brother is with you. Israel said, Why did you treat me so badly, telling the man that you had another brother? He said, The man asked directly concerning ourselves, and concerning a relative, saying, Is your father still alive? Have you another brother? We just answered his questions. Is there any way we could know that he would say, Bring your brother down? Judah said to Israel, his father, Send the boy with me, and we'll get up and go, so that we may live and not die, both we and you, and those who are little ones. I'll be collateral for him, for my hand will you need him. If I don't bring him to you, and set him before you, then let me bear the blame forever. For if we hadn't delayed, Surely we would have returned a second time by now. The father of Israel said to them, If it must be so, then do this. Take from the choice fruits of the land in your bags, and carry out presents for the man, a little balm, a little honey, spices and myrrh, nuts and almonds. And take double money in your hand, and take back the money that was returned in the mouth of your sacks. Perhaps it was an oversight. Take your brother also. Get up and return to the man. May God Almighty give you mercy before the man, as he may release to you your other brother and Benjamin. If I am bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. The men took that present, and they took the woman in their hand. And Benjamin, and got up, went down to Egypt, and stood before Joseph. When Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the steward of his house, Bring the men into the house and butcher an animal, and prepare, for the men will dine with me at noon. The man did as Joseph commanded, and the man brought the men to Joseph's house. The men were afraid, because they were brought to Joseph's house, and he said, Because of the money that was returned in our sacks there the first time, we have brought in that he may seek occasion against us, attack us, and seize us as slaves, and along with our donkeys. They came near to the steward of Joseph's house. They spoke to him at the door of the house, and said, Oh my lord, we indeed came down the first time to buy food. When we came to the lodging place, we opened our sacks, and we owed each man's money was in the mouth of his sack. Our money in full weight, we have brought it back in our hand. We have brought down other money in our hand to buy food. We don't know who put our money in our sacks. He said, Be at peace, don't be afraid. Your God and the God of your father has given you treasure in your sacks. I received your money. He brought Simeon out to them. The man brought the men into Joseph's house and gave them water, and they washed their feet. He gave their donkeys fodder. He prepared a present for Joseph's coming at noon, for they heard that they should eat bread there. 
And Joseph came home. They brought him the present which was in their hand into the house, and they bowed down to him to the earth. He asked the mother welfare and said, Did your father well, the old man of whom you spoke? Is he yet alive? He said, Your servant, our father, is well. He is still alive. They bowed down humbly. He lifted up his eyes and saw Benjamin, his brother, his mother's son, and said, Is this your youngest brother, of whom you spoke to me? God be gracious to you, my son. Joseph hurried. His heart yearned over his brother, and he sought a place to weep. He entered into his room and wept there. He washed his face and came out. He controlled himself and said, Serve the meal. They served him by himself, and them by themselves. The Egyptians there with him by themselves. Because the Egyptians don't eat bread with the Hebrews. But that is an abomination to the Egyptians. Is that before him? The firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth. And the men marveled one with another. He sent portions to them from before him. But Benjamin's portion was five times as much as any of theirs. They drank and were merry with him.